Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest, Dr. Maha Mahagoub, the Senior Advisor at the International Labour Organization. Dr. Maha, very good afternoon to you and thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to have you with us, Doctor. Let me start by asking you about the Decent Life Initiative and how do you see the projects in the Decent Life Initiative having changed the lives of many Egyptian citizens, specifically in Upper Egypt? Uh, the, pres uh, the Presidential Initiative Decent Life, uh, the National Project for Developing the Egyptian Countryside, is a multi faceted uh, and integrated initiative launched by the Presidential, uh, pre President uh, Abdel Fattah Sisi in uh, 2019, aiming to, uh, to improve uh, the living conditions and daily life of Egyptian citizens with the framework of integration and unification of um, of, the, to, of the effort between national state institutions, uh, private sector institutions, civil society, and developing, development partners in Egypt. This initiative also aims to provide the uh, integrated package of services, including uh, various health, health uh, social, and living aspects, which is a huge uh, responsibility that these various, um, various uh, entities will share uh, in the owner of commitment to provide the, the Egyptian citizen, citizens, especially in the most needed uh, social uh, uh, groups. Uh, regarding the Decent Life Initiative, uh, Change the Life of the Upper Egypt, uh, the main objective is uh, to develop the Egyptian countryside with a total of 1,384 projects, at the total cost of exceeding 26 billion pounds, in 11 centers um, in the Upper Egypt, governors of Menia, Venezuela, and Asyut. The number of beneficiaries of decent, decent life uh, projects reached 11 million citizens right. from Upper Egypt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Uh, Dr. Maha, what are the most important projects inaugurated today by Dr. Mustafa Mabouli, the Prime Minister, as part of the Decent Life Initiative? Dr. Madbouli uh, pointed out that today's visit uh, will focus on projects related to uh, the sectors of developing facilities and health services, uh, giving their great importance in improving human health and impro uh, improving the quality of life um, for better. The Prime Minister pointed out the government, the government has achieved the great achievement in the Decent Life Project, especially in drinking water projects, mm -hmm. by working um, to improve the quality uh, type of water and expanding the establishment of water uh, stations and network in various uh, governorates of the Republic, especially in the most needed area. Mm -hmm. And he confirmed that the greater part of his visit today uh, to many governorates will be devoted uh, to the following up uh, of the progress of the number of projects um, of the presidential initiative Decent Life to develop the Egyptian countryside. Absolutely. Now, Dr. Maha, the initiative also covered several aspects uh, of life, uh, one of the most important being uh, the recent achievements in the field of health and health services and health care in Egypt, especially with the Prime Minister today de uh, inspecting the development project of al Adwa Central Hospital uh, in Menya Governorate, and uh, the development of health uh, facilities has been a main focus of the Decent Life Initiative and health services uh, to citizens all around uh, the country. Yes, and in, in, uh, in today's visit, uh, prime, the Prime Minister declared uh, that uh, the health sector is a major pillar of Egyptian state government's plans in various parts of the country and uh, um, an important uh, determinant of, um, for the advancement of uh, human development. The health sector in many governments witnessed many efforts for developing the medical system during the period from uh, 2014, October to 2024. Uh, which include the implementation of 17 projects in the field of health services and other uh, 10 projects uh, um, have been implemented. The implemented projects are three central um, hospitals, Samalut, Malawi, and Dermoa, mm -hmm. which uh, benefit about 2.5 million citizens, and uh, the establishment, replacement, renovation, and development of 80 health units and medical centers within the scope of the governorate centers, uh, cities uh, and villages, serving about uh, 2 million citizens and five hospitals uh, are being replaced uh, and renovated at Al-Adwa, uh, Bani Mazar, uh, 
Magrera, Abu Korkas, which are scheduled to serve 3 million citizens. Right. Uh, Dr. Maha, infrastructure projects have a large share in the Decent Life Initiative. What are the importance of these projects in improving the conditions of life in these villages most in need of care? Actually, the Egyptian Countryside Development Initiative, Decent Life, came to restore the citizen uh, his right to a decent life in his right housing, uh, clean environment, education, uh, right uh, uh, to have a good health, uh, his right to walk and build roads, uh, his right to clean up water. And some of these infrastructures, uh, for example, as uh, decent, for uh, decent housing, upgrading homes, building roofs, uh, building a residential uh, complex in the, uh, in the most rigid villages and extending the water, sewage, uh, gas, and electricity con um, connections inside homes. Other, in, uh, other in, uh, infrastructure such as uh, establishing uh, micro projects and uh, activating the role of productive uh, cooperatives in the village, other uh, and medical services, building hospitals and health units, equipping them with equipment, operating them with the medical staff. Uh, right. And yes, mm -hmm. other, can I tell more in uh, infrastructure? Or it's okay. uh, sure, Dr. Ma. Uh, you're very, very uh, well uh, knowledge. And of course, uh, the government has been playing uh, a great role with regards to the development of the infrastructure uh, to support all these developmental projects. Yes. Right. Uh, yes. So they have many infrastructure projects in educational service, economic empowerment, social interventions, and human development, envi environmental interventions. Right. So they are developing the whole uh, life of uh, most needy people. Indeed. Right, uh, Dr. Uh, Maha Mahgoub, Senior Advisor of the International Labour Organization, I'd like to thank you very much, ma'am, for your time and for joining us on today's edition of uh, Cairo Local Time.